What's up guys? I'm at a new place. I've never fished before. We're loading up our backpacks right now. Eric's here. Taking her to my secret spot today, guys. <laughs> I'm taking him to a new secret spot today. Top secret. Uh, we got to hike in. There's no trail or anything. No name to this lake. So it'll be super fun to see if we can catch any fish in it. I'm um, thinking there's some big brook trout in here, but we'll find out. We're going to hike in with our fly rods. And uh, yeah, it's going to be great. All right guys, we made it to the lake. I can just say I'm so excited already because there's like, we've seen over a dozen fish just cruising, probably eating nymphs. Um, there's no bugs really on the surface, but they're definitely cruising around for nymphs and I'm so excited because it's a tiny, tiny little lake and that is my favorite thing in the world to fish. Something about like little hidden gems that are, that there's no trail to get to them and all that. They're just my favorite. And little lakes are usually fun because fish cruise around in them and you can target them faster than a big lake. Whereas it might take a fish an hour to swim around a really big lake or reservoir. It'll take a fish five minutes to swim around a little lake. So you have more opportunity. So it's super cool. Eric's rigging up. Yo, what's up? I'm already rigged up and we're gonna go catch some brookies. All right, broke the ice and got one on. Eric and I have been fishing for probably only about 10 minutes or so, but not getting a lot of action. And we were just talking about it. I was saying the reason is because they're so spooky. Beauty. You got one, babe? Oh, I thought that was you. Well, I think it's game over for the GoPro. Out of battery and out of memory, but at least I got that first little one, a little bit of video. I just let him go. Um, it's starting to rain a little bit, which I was telling Eric I was hoping for because the bugs would start to hatch and Sure enough, there's a midge hatch, which is awesome because Eric and I both have midge patterns on our flies. So yeah, that was a really pretty fish. Hopefully it doesn't rain like crazy, but we still get a really good hatch, so we'll see. Good morning, you guys. Uh, sun's just barely come up and I'm moving camp because it's been 14 days at this camp and as much as I don't wanna move it, um, I just have to because it's the rules. So figured I'd wake up fairly early, get it done with, and I have to go home to Salt Lake and I'm going to Idaho tomorrow to scout for elk and deer. So that'll be fun. But yeah, this camp spot's been fun. Uh, I liked pretty much everything about it, but the trailer's all loaded up. Let me show you, Bricky's in the truck. I just have a few more things back here. Let me show you the things I have left to load So up. I have my little kitchen mat, some kitchen stuff, trail cam, table, a couple more totes, and then I'm out of here. So by the way, I meant to keep filming after yesterday's fishing video, but I didn't really do a good job. Um, we hustled up to the top of the mountain to catch some grayling, but we got there just a little too late. It was a bummer because it was a really long drive, but... It was just barely too dark when we got there and they weren't eating dries, they were just eating the mergers. We couldn't make it happen, but sometimes that happens. It's okay, we'll be back again. All right, all loaded. Bye camp. I'll miss you. I really liked it here. All loaded up as best as it's gonna be. Time to hit the road. Brucky's ready. You ready, Brucky? It's like, Mom, I've been waiting in here forever. <laughs> Look at where she jumped right to. Brookie. Oh, she's funny. Okay, so I think I've decided we're going to go to the first spot that I put my trailer for the year. Sorry, I look so sleepy, guys. I need to wake up. I haven't had coffee yet, but uh, I still look very sleepy in this camera here. It's early, like I said. I don't know what time it is, but early sun's just come up. But uh, yeah, we're all set now. We're gonna get on the road slow and steady.
wins the race with the trailer. We're gonna go to that first spot out in the desert, and then when I come back, I might move it, but uh, we'll see. For now, it's gonna be good. All right, we made it. My truck looks so good and muddy, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Brookie? Okay, back in the original spot. One of my favorite spots, not the best as far as shade goes, but really fun little spot. I like it out here in the desert. Um, it's been good to me every time I've been here, so I can't really complain. Okay, gonna pop this thing off the hitch. Unload that, then I need some breakfast. I'm hungry. And some coffee. I look a little more awake right now, right? Right? I had to put shorts and a tank top on. It got a little warmer. Everything's unloaded. I think I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna be leaving here, like I said, and going to Idaho to set some cameras. I thought I had like six cameras to set. Turns out I have like nine or 10, which is so much better. I'm so excited. Hey, look how dusty that mirror is. Jesus. Yikes. Yikes. So I just have like cooking stuff in here. Nothing valuable. And uh, yeah, I think we're about ready to get on the road because Brookie's crying. Better close that top window though. I've learned my lesson. If you leave that open, everything gets wet. It's so annoying. So annoying. I hear Brookie meowing. Listen to Brookie. Brookie! <laughs> Brookie! 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 Is that you, Brookie? Brookie, is that you in there? Bye! Say bye, Brooke. So the last thing I had to do was set up a trail camera. Um, I always set up trail cameras at my camp now, just in case anyone messes with it. Good news is there's nothing valuable in it, but you never know, it's public land. I would still hope no one messes with it. Quick little thing guys, uh, before you leave, I have a really cool announcement. I'm actually getting some artwork done by this guy named Joel who does some incredible artwork. Um, he's done it for a lot of people that I know and a lot of companies and it's so realistic and I just love it and I could have never imagined that he'd be able to do some artwork for me. But here, I'll tell you guys before anybody else, so you guys heard it first on YouTube. And uh, it's gonna be my mule deer that I shot just this past year in 2017. So my four by five velvet mule deer, he's gonna be doing his like a Euro mount with the velvet. It's gonna look sweet for like hats and shirts and everything. I wanna wear it definitely during my own hunting season. So um, I'm really excited for that. But I wanna show you his new company because he's helping me out with the artwork and I love his socks. He just barely started a sock company. It's called Hoof It Socks. I'll put a link below if you want to check them out. So brand new company, Hoof It Socks. They have a lot of really cool hunting, um, like lifestyle stuff. And let me show you the ones I'm wearing right now, which are probably my favorite. He also teamed up with some other brands and like uh, wildlife photographers to get some really cool socks. I have so many more of them, which I'll be showing you guys. But let me show you these ones first. They're on my foot. Okay, so hopefully you can see. I'll probably put a product picture of them, but it, see the elk antler? It's a Euro mount elk antler. You can't see them as well as I want you to be able to, so I'll show you. But I'm gonna be wearing them all throughout my Texas hunt, all the different kinds. And that's right, if you didn't know already, I am going to Texas to hunt uh, axis deer and hogs with my bow. So that'll be super fun. Today, I'm filming this on Thursday, I'm going on Sunday. So I have a couple more days to get my bow dialed in, get everything ready. I'm gonna wash my camo and some scent-free stuff and we're gonna be good to go, right, Brooke? Brooke is staying home with the babysitter, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be super fun. I'm so excited. 
you guys ever hunted or fished Texas? I've never been. I want to go so bad. I want to go eat some Texas barbecue. I want to go to a honky tonk bar and country dance, wear my cowgirl boots. I want to kill some Axis deer and I want to kill some hogs. Did I see a barbecue? <laughs> Just kidding. I know I did. Well, all right, guys. I'm going to end the video right there. Thanks for watching. Sorry I haven't been fishing as much lately. I feel like I need like so I need like a week straight of fishing, but unfortunately I've just been working and guiding and running around and traveling, but there's still some summer left. I'm going to get it done, not to worry about it. Not only that, fall is my favorite time to fish. I'll be hunting too, but I'm still going to try and fish as much as as much as possible so fingers crossed i can tag out at a good time so that i can fish a lot you never know okay guys we're out of here thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already like this video it helps a lot we're out okay bye